Okay, um, on this problem, you're supposed to solve it graphically. And so you are gonna let the left side of the equation be your y sub one. And remember that this is in y equals mx plus b form. So this is your y-intercept and that's your slope. So I'm gonna come over to the graph and I'm gonna click to enlarge the graph. And all oh, that didn't work very well, no, did it? Well, shoot. <laughs> okay, let me go a little bigger screen on this. There we go. Okay, um, let me cancel that and hit it one more time. I wish I could just do it over here and click on it. Nope, gotta click to enlarge it. All right, so you're gonna click on the line tool right there, and then you are going to, I need this to be bigger. I cannot see this. Okay, so the plus three. Okay, so we're on the left, five X plus three. The plus three is your Y intercept. So I'm gonna click on that. And then your slope is this five X. So five is five over one. So I'm gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, and over one, and lock it in place. Now, the other equation that we're gonna do is the right side. And that's gonna be this one here. So this is my y sub two. And once again, your slope, this is your slope, right? And, oops. And this is your y-intercept. So I'm going to go back over to the graph here and you have to hit the line tool a second time. And then you're gonna plot at negative six. And then we're gonna go up two over one and then lock it in place. And then I can see right here that the two lines intersect and I need the x coordinate. It is negative three. Okay, and I'm gonna take a quick screenshot of this. Save, and then I'm gonna come back over here to this, because I wanna draw on this real quick. Uh... <laughs> Hang on a second, I'm gonna pause it. Okay, so here's that graph, and um, this was the first graph that we plotted. That's the first line. And then this was the second one. And my equation had, what did it have? It had a less than sign in between of it. So we're looking for where the blue graph, which is y sub one, we wanna know where is that less than y sub two. So you're looking for where the blue line is below the red line. And that actually occurs over here. This is your intersection point right here. And to the left of that point, all of this is, whoops, over here. <laughs> this is where the blue line lies below the red line. If it had said, um, where is y sub one, let me use a different color, um, greater than, that's a horrible greater than sign, greater than, <laughs> this is less than, this is greater than, greater than y sub two, where's the blue line above the red line? That would occur over here on this side. So, the intersection point is at right here, negative three. So for the yellow, X would be less than negative three. And for the green, you would have said X is greater than negative three, but I was asking for this one. So, um, and they want it in interval notation. So remember that in interval, you would go from negative infinity up to the negative three, but don't include it. So let me go back to my math lab now. Here we are. Uh, let me shrink it back down. I'm all over the place on this. And I can't see it. Where is it? There's the check answer. Ah, sorry. 
Check answer. I have you have to save the graph and then check answer first and then it'll pop up and tell you to put in the solution and then that's where I would put in parentheses negative here's your infinity symbol right there comma negative three there was no equal to so use a parenthesis and then check my answer again nice work all right so that's that I hope that helped